so next algorithm for matrix decomposition that we'll be discussing is qr decomposition so this is not the same qr that you scan for getting items or payments is something else so as similar to lu decomposition where we are decomposing the matrix into two matrices in qr decomposition also we will be decomposing it into two matrices so one is an orthonormal matrix another is the upper triangular matrix so first of all we will try to understand what is an orthonormal matrix so orthonormal matrix has two particular features one is that all the column vectors present in the matrix are perpendicular to each other and each column vector has a length of one if uh, the column vectors are mutually perpendicular to each other but are not of unit length then it is called as an orthogonal matrix just remember this now i will be showing you how to perform a qr decomposition so we will be first of all taking a matrix a 1 4 7 2 5 8 3 6 9 we will be initializing two matrices q and r with zeros now we will be performing gram's merit orthogonalization so this is a big jargon i think even i'm not able to pronounce it how to pronounce this but we will be uh, learning how to implement this orthogonalization so basically it is a mathematical process used for transforming a set of linearly independent vectors basically the columns of a matrix into a new set of orthogonal perpendicular vectors which means each vector is at a right angle to each other so basically as i told you in case of an orthonormal matrix uh, orthonormal vector matrix all the vector all the column vectors are perpendicular to each other so first of all we will be converting all the vectors perpendicular and then normalizing it to make it orthonormal this is fine so how we are able to perform this the first vector v1 remains unchanged since there is no other vector to make it orthogonal to makes sense right because it is the first vector you can't make it perpendicular to anything once the second vector comes in you need to make it perpendicular to the first vector v1 so we will be subtracting the projection of v2 onto v1 from v2 to make it orthogonal to v1 right how a projection is calculated i will show you for the third vector v3 subtract the projection of v3 onto v1 and v2 both because you now as you as you are moving ahead you need to make it orthogonal to all the vectors present in the past right from v3 to make it orthogonal to both v1 and v2 similarly for fourth vector for fifth vector for sixth vector we need to subtract the projection of that v nth vector from its past vectors uh, v1 v2 v2 till vn minus 1 and subtract it from v nth vector to make it orthogonal to all the previous transformed vectors right i will telling you i will be showing you an example so no need to worry and don't uh, get afraid by the mathematics explained here now this will convert them into orthogonal vector as i told you for orthonormal we will be normalizing that that is only change so let's get started so we already have taken our first uh, we have taken our matrix a if you have forgotten this is the matrix 1472583369 now for first column of q that is q1 we'll be normalizing the first column of a as i told you for first vector v1 uh, there is nothing to make it perpendicular to we will be just normalizing it so as you can see that v1 equals to 1 uh, 1 2 3 we are calculating the magnitude of v1 3.7574 and first column of q that is q1 equals to v1 upon divided by 3.74 that is this 0 0.27 0 0.53 0 0.80 first column we have got now for the second column 4 5 6 we first be subtracting the projection of v2 from v1 from v2 so here you can see that v2 minus v2 dot q1 dot product we are calculating from q1 q1 is the first column that we have calculated for q which is already orthonormal now into q1 so the first one is a dot product second one is a matrix multiplication do remember that v2 is 5 uh, 4 5 6 minus we are calculating the dot product between v2 dot q1 so v2 is nothing but second column of the actual matrix uh, and then eventually we are multiplying it with the first column of the q uh, q matrix that will that we have calculated in the first step so once we are able to get the projection v2 comma v1 which is 3.52 4.1 4.57 now the uh, last step is to normalize this and then get our orthonormal vector for column 2 so this becomes a 0 0.5 0 0.58 0 0.65 now going for the third one because we have considered 3 cross 3 matrix so we will be calculating uh, we will be calculating projections from uh, v3 to v1 like this v3 minus v3 dot q1 into q1 minus v3 dot q2 into q2 as i told you as we are moving ahead we need to make it uh, normal to all the existing all the 
existing orthonormal vectors also that we have already calculated. Again, the whole uh, mathematics goes the same, and we get a final project. We get a final column for Q. Now, how to calculate R? We have calculated Q, but we haven't calculated R. So R again will follow a common strategy as in the equation that we are getting, we are assuming that A equals to QR because A is getting decomposed into two matrices that is QR. So now in this equation, we know A, we know Q. So we can uh, transfer Q to the other side of the equation that is Q transpose. So Q transpose into A should give us R. So basically using uh, the calculated value for Q, we are able to calculate R also. So this is how QR decomposition is done.